Today we're back to announce the results of the July giveaway and look through the top entries for the channel's painting competition, which you can vote on now. Hello and welcome back to All Specs Tactics for another short channel update. It's certainly been an exciting few days. A ridiculous amount of ninth rules dropping all at once has kept me busier than I've ever been before. It's really hard to know what sort of videos and ideas to pursue when there's so much stuff to be done. There's new data sheets being revealed, there's points costs coming out, and there's an absolute ton of new details to wade through for the rulebook itself. I am in the process of making a full 9th edition rulebook review, and it hopefully should be out in the next few days, and while I work on it, I'll keep on releasing other minor updates, particularly interesting rules that catch my eye, some reviews of new data sheets, and maybe talk about the Indomitus box a bit more. I've had some really good suggestions for videos from channel Patreons and other people just down in the comments, so if you've got any particular nuances of 9th edition that you'd like me to cover yourselves, then please let me know. In general, I'm going to be trying to take a fairly broad brush approach to start with, and then look at some more faction-specific stuff as the floodgates of new information close again. Hopefully over the next few days, we'll be looking at the Space Marine fast attack choices and heavy supports in terms of point-for-point -point comparisons, talk about the Indomitus box in terms of tactics and maybe splitting it up between two players, and a few other bits and bobs. I'll have that 9th edition rulebook review released as soon as possible. Now each month on the channel we do a giveaway, the rules had to be slightly tweaked for the last one due to Patreon politely informing me on their policies due to raffles, so things have changed slightly. Each channel Patreon member gets one ticket in the draw, but you can also enter for free on Facebook if you subscribe to the channel, like the Auspex Tactics Facebook page, and then post a picture of 140k miniature on the giveaway entry post on the Facebook page. I can now reveal that the winners of the guard giveaway, picked with a random number generator out of all available entrants, are Novacento Manfredi, Simon Feldman and Bill Schaffer. I've already sent a message out to you guys now, so all of these kits that you can see on the right will be winging them out to Italy for Novacento, the USA for Bill Schaffer, and I'm still waiting to hear back from Simon. I've sent you a message through Patreon, so if you could get back to me with an address at some point, then I can have yours in the post as well. The Facebook part of the entry went pretty well to be honest, there didn't seem to be anyone spamming or anything, and have the policy just to double check anyone who's entered if they're actually drawn, if they've done multiple entries or things then it won't count, so for the foreseeable future we will we'll be sticking to this format. For the August giveaway, as I've said previously, there'll be three copies of the Indomitus box up for grabs, a bit of an extra big one for the launch of 9th edition, but it's not like you have a new edition come out every single month, so I don't mind pushing it out a bit. There'll be two ways to enter, either you can support on Patreon, which gets you an entry, or you can support via social media, subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook, and post a picture of one of your models with your name and the date on the first of the month, shortly before I do the draw. In any case, I hope that you guys enjoy the Guard Forces. Hopefully they'll be holding the line against the tides of Xenos on many battlefields to come. Moving on, we come to the Auspex Tactics Painting Competition, which has been created and run by the channel Discord moderators. A really big thank you to all of you guys for running that. Organising the entries and sorting through them was certainly no mean task. So thanks to all of you, particularly Eli Gaming, for sorting out that big spreadsheet. To get into the spirit of things, I thought I'd paint up my armager, who will hopefully be stomping across many battlefields to come. It'll be interesting to see where these guys are in the new edition, in terms of points, costs and things when they come out. I'm quite pleased with the way that the paint job turned out. I tried a little bit of freehand with the Griffin, who did go through several revisions and a lot of white paint to neaten him out again. I went for a sort of shield motif on his right shoulder, which I'm not entirely happy with, but was quite pleased with the lettering and the feathers on the left side. He'll fit in right alongside the other Imperial Knights, which at some point I do hope to show off on the channel. In any case, myself and the other moderators voted on the various entries to the contest. Picking them was very hard, and there were a lot of very close calls, and we decided to narrow it down to 10 to let you guys vote on to determine the overall winner. Before we get into the top 10, I'd just like to run through a few honourable mentions. Shoes gave us this excellent little Gretchen diorama on the left. Ace Bow has given us this excellent chaplain with plasma pistol, which might have been a serious contender for top 10 if he hadn't got himself disqualified by becoming a moderator in the meantime. Really like the absolute minute details on this guy. Trevira's Redemptor Dreadnought, I really like the smoke effects on, and a very gritty, realistic tone. I really like the glow effect on the power fist for this Imperial Fist Dreadnought by Gina. There's a very subtle and menacing tone to the Death Rider here by Enragement Philly, and Edward Wills had a really interesting Lord of Contagion here with a very unique colour scheme. There were far, far more entries that I would like to talk about, including many other great Dreadnoughts and a Death Watch Terminator squad that I was particularly impressed with, but for now we'll go into the top 10. First up, we have an excellently weathered Crassus Armoured Assault Transport by Grief, who I think has done an absolutely amazing job of having really bright primary colours, but making them look gritty and realistic at the same time. There's an intricately detailed Master of Possession here by Gateswolf. I really like the glow effects on the flames for this one, and I was particularly impressed by the realism of the base and how intricately detailed that is. Bully Julie has given us this excellent Space Wars Invicta Tactical Warsuit, 
We have a Renegade Knight, lovingly converted by Demenzia. Really like the lightning effects on this one, and he appears to have used the Games Workshop recommended number of skulls. I really enjoyed this Knight by legit pop tart reviewers. A very cleanly and beautifully executed colour scheme, and again I was a real fan of the base of this one. I have some poor boss trolls dying in the snow, with some disturbingly realistic blood effects. Lorax has entered this squad of Necron Immortals, emerging from a swamp. I really like the converted capes on this one, as just an excellent gritty and well realised colour scheme, and really well done vegetation. R2 is treated to this ghost kill, beautiful blending and lighting and shadow effects here. Maki Mac has painted up this version of Kosaro Khan, which is an excellent classic colour scheme, very well realised. You really get a sense of depth looking at this one. Finally, Irishman Errant has treated us to this Eliminator with Bolt Sniper Rifle. Of particular note was a well-executed camo scheme on the cloak, and a very realistic explosion effect on the firing gun. Finally, Confucius has painted up Typhus. Again, a sombre colour scheme, but very well executed, with really good highlights and shading. So if you would like to vote for which one of these wins, then you can head over to the channel Discord page, where there's a Google form where you can vote on the winner in the Announcements channel. If you would be interested in having a look at the Discord server as well, there's general chats for the majority of different topics in Warhammer 40k, plus places where you can recommend video ideas for me, or discuss or point out corrections in the ones that I've already made. As I said, the winner of the painting competition will receive a Primaris character of their choice, along with three paints, and the second place person will get five paints, again of their choice. So I'm very much looking forward to continuing the 9th edition news and developments over the next few weeks, particularly all the new points costs which will allow us to see what's going to be good in the new edition. I'll be back in around a week to announce the winner of the painting competition, so until then get voting, and feel free to give the channel's Patreon page a look if you would like to help support, or have a guaranteed entry in winning those Indomitus sets. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.